And this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix network issues on your backwards compatible PS3. That would be the CECH A01 and CECH E01 model. And this also applies to CECH G01 consoles because they're very, very similar. The only difference is the, the newer PS3s, the ones that came out after this, don't have a memory card slot like this one does. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that repair on, on your own today. And we sell all the parts that you need for this job on our website and the link's going to be in the description box. Let's get started. So this is a June 2008 model. Uh, this is one of the last uh, backwards compatible units to be manufactured. You're going to stand it up on its head and you're going to see a warranty sticker right here. We're going to remove the warranty sticker um, and there's going to be a Torx T8H screw underneath and we sell um, the screwdriver that you need. So we're going to take this we're going to take this warranty sticker off and there's going to be a Torx T8H screw underneath. We sell uh, the screwdriver that you need to get that screw out and that's a security screw it's a very specialized screw we sell that on our website and uh, uh, the link's going to be in the description box so we're going to go ahead and remove the sticker i almost feel bad taking it off <laughs> okay. so we're going to remove this rubber stop and just pull on it wiggle and pull and it should come out and once you have that removed you're going to see the Torx T8H screw in there. And as you can see, it's uh, it's got a little uh, security piece in there, so a regular T8 will not work. You need a T8H, like this one that I'm using here. Um, and we sell this screwdriver on our website. The link's gonna be in the description box. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the screw. And as you're removing the screw, what you wanna do is you wanna pull up on this side of the case like this piece is gonna slide up like that. It's gonna slide up and then you can pull it out like that. There's seven screws that we're gonna remove to get this piece of the case off. All right, so now that we have all the case screws removed, we're gonna be able to lift this piece up. And while you're lifting this up, you wanna make sure you don't lose this piece because this is the piece that the screw for the uh, upper case uh, connects into and you don't wanna lose this piece. Otherwise your PS3 is not gonna close properly. So now we can just lift this cover off and it's gonna come off like so. And then you can like pivot it from the front and now we have access to everything that we need. We have access to the network card. We're gonna have to remove the memory card slots right here. There's two screws that hold those in. So to replace the network card, we're gonna remove these four screws here. There's a cable here that attaches to it and there's a cable, this cable right here that runs down to the motherboard. Um, we're gonna remove these four screws. Once you remove these screws, we can go ahead and remove this cable. This one you can just lift up like so. And then there's one cable underneath that we can pull from here. Or you can also lift this clip up and remove it from here, but I like to remove it from the motherboard. Okay, and then now we got this out of the way. This is really dusty. So we're gonna be replacing this part. We're gonna put our replacement FastTech network card in and you can see that it it's in a lot better shape than this one. Um, and this is a model number C, 
WI001. We sell these on our website. I'm gonna put a link in the description box if you wanna buy it from us. You can also enter the promo code YouTube for a discount. Connect this the same way it you just push down on the cable, put it in, and then push it down till you hear the clip click in. There's a notch here that goes in first, and then you and then you press the rest of it down. Reconnect the cable. You want to be careful with this cable because it's easy to break. You want to line it up and then push down. There's a circle. And you need to line it up, push it down. And we're going to reinstall all the screws in. We're going to connect the cable. Push insert and push it in. I'm going to reconnect the screws. The front goes in first like this and then you can pivot back on like, like I did and we're going to put all the screws in that we removed from the case. There's seven of them. Once you have the screws tight, you're gonna stand up the console like this. You're gonna line up the top cover. Then we're gonna tighten this screw. Rubber stop back in. Then we're gonna put our Fast Tech warranty sticker on here because this customer's getting a warranty with it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one.